What's up there, YouTube? Back with another video. It's not all PS3. Um, back to my first edition of Pickups on the Fly, uh, suggested by Whittle Brother. Uh, his YouTube channel will be in the link below. Um, I asked for suggestions on pickup video. That was the only one that came in, and but I actually kind of like it, so I'm gonna go with it. So the first one is. Um, uh, a Facebook pickup, Facebook Marketplace. This lady had a whole bunch of PSP, PS2 stuff. Uh, she had outrageous prices on uh, the systems. She wanted a hundred dollars for the PS2, two hundred dollars for two PSPs. I uh, kind of told her, you know, but she had this one. There was a list of seven games for sale um, for twenty dollars, and. So I went over there and I said I wanted that. She also had some PS1 and PS2 games. She wanted two dollars a piece for them. There was two PS2 uh, one games that I wanted. Um, the rest were all sports, and she had a bunch of PS2 stuff, but it was all shovelware, the stuff her kids had. So basically, I go over there and for the the PSP games because there are some decent titles, and I was basically going to flip them because I don't have a PSP anymore, and you know just I could make a few bucks on it. So. For $20, there's one that's already sold, and that was the Simpsons game, and that was complete. Uh, this one is up. It's Spider-Man Friend of Foe, and this one's complete. I would take them out, but the, for some reason, the, the discs are loose. Well, this one's not bad. Um, Twisted Metal Head On is complete. Star Wars Battlefront 2, complete. Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, and this one is not complete, but it does have the map. And this one's an oddity. Um, it's Cabela's African Safari, and it's complete. Uh, this one goes for a little bit uh, over $10, which is su uh, surprising for a Cabela's game. Uh, there's not too many that have sold, and there's not too many that are up for sale. So I'm thinking this is a, a fairly, probably a later release title. I'm just guessing. Correct me if I'm wrong. That was uh, fairly uncommon, uh, but it is Cabela's, so it don't command like a $60 price, but it is uncommon, so people are willing to, when they are looking for it, uh, they are willing to pay more than 10 bucks. But it actually don't look too bad, I mean, graphically wise, if you see back here, I mean, that that's pretty good for PSP, a little cheetah in there. Uh, the other game was Need for Speed Shift, and they had the case... And the manual, but they couldn't find the game. So I asked them, would they just take 20 for uh, all of it, and including these two PS2 ga uh, one games? And she said yes. So I went ahead and did it. The first one is uh, Vigilante 8 Second Offense. Now I have this on the Dreamcast, so I'm gonna turn around and sell this. Um, goes for a little, you know, a little more than 15 bucks. Um, I guess I'm a reseller now. You guys will have to deal with it. <laughs> I'm collecting for PS3 and other stuff, but I'm also trying to get out of debt as well. And I got about 11, 12 months we got figured, and I'll be 100% debt free. So the faster I can do it, the the more help I can get, the better. So yes, I'm a reseller now, but I'm still also collecting, as you'll see later. Uh, well, right now, this one I decided to keep, and it's Typhu Wrath of the Tiger. I've never heard of this game. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, anyone ever play this? Uh, let me know what you think. So, I actually went garage selling. I actually had a Saturday off and it was kind of crappy out. So, I told my wife we were going to the grocery store um, in the big town over. I said, you know what, let's go garage selling. And she goes, really? And I said, yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff I don't, you know, don't go anymore because when I get out there on Saturday, uh, stuff's usually gone and picked through. But it, the weather was, it was kind of chilly and rainy uh, Friday and yesterday. So I figured, you know what? If people are willing to have the garage sales, I'm imagining some people didn't show up. So I found some okay stuff. Uh, let's go with this. Uh, one garage sale I found, uh, he had a couple Xbox 360 games. This is Battlefield, um, Battlefield uh, 4. That's, you know, stuff, uh, Assassin's Creed, stuff that's worth a few bucks. So if he had a dollar on him, I would have had him passed. So I'm not going to waste my time selling to make the, like a 50 cent profit after shipping. But I went ahead and picked up, he had Grand Theft Auto 5, 
and this has both disc in here loose. I picked that up for a dollar. Um, I can make five, six, seven dollars on that real quick. I already have that on the PS4, don't need it. I also picked up for 20 bucks, I'd even haggle. Is this uh, Xbox 360 Slim? Uh, it looked in new condition. Uh, it came with this uh, good controller. I mean, you could tell he hardly ever played it because the nubs are still on there and in very good condition. Um, he had 20 bucks. I'd even he didn't even come down. Uh, brought it home. I asked what size of the hard drive. He says I think it's a three. So he had no idea what he had. I brought it home, looked in. I could have. And it was a 60 uh, gigabyte hard drive. It works excellent. I don't think the guy ever played it. He still had batteries in the controller and it, it was just starting to corrode. Um, but I went out, cleaned it up and it works. Works fine, works like a charm. So I put that up online and that's, I bought it for 20 and it's, you know, it's quick sell, uh, make a few bucks. And then I picked up for $2, I picked all these up. <laughs> And I was surprised. I'm, I'm just flipping these. These these old school uh, heavy metal cassettes are you can get a little bit for them. The first one's uh, Iron Maiden, uh, Power Slave. Uh, this one was already sold for over ten, so I already made my money. <laughs> it's Van Halen, and this is the uh, 1984. These are some good albums. Anthrax, Persistence of Time. This one probably won't sell. Uh, it doesn't seem to command much. There was a, also I found a Boston um, album, you know, Boston. And I looked it up once I got it home, and it goes for like two bucks. So I just went ahead and threw it away. Um, I just don't have time to make, trip it over dollars to make a dime, you know. And the Scorpions, Virgin Killer, these are all great albums. Uh, Led Zeppelin Four. And uh, what I was excited about is I got Metallica, Kill 'Em All, Metallica, Injustice for All, Metallica, Black, and Metallica, Master of Puppets. I wish he had Ride the Lightning there. He did not. But he said, "Are you going to use those?" I said, "Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take them." <laughs> he was shocked they even sold. But you know, I'll, I'll make like 40, 50 bucks on them after for two dollars, and that's that's cool because I. Basically got all the, I definitely got all the CDs on the Metallica, and I actually got two of the records, and I got Led Zeppelin, I got a lot, most of this stuff anyway. Not a big Van Halen fan, so I don't have any Van Halen, I'm sorry. If you like Van Halen, I'm very sorry. And then uh, for a dollar, I found a Yoshi, a uh, nice plush, he's, he's in very good condition, it has a little, um, if you put him up in the light, you can see a little where... You know dirt smudges but I'll turn around and sell him um, he's worth you know maybe 10 bucks if that but someone that loves Nintendo not me I like Nintendo but I don't love them uh, and I don't have the room in the game room anymore for stuff like this so he's gonna go to a good home rescued him and then of course I found some PS3 stuff and he had a tons of stuff with the system I had, I tried to, he had, basically would have been $264 if I paid asking price. I asked him what would he take for all of it, and he said, well, let me do some figuring here, and I said, well, I'll, I'll be honest, I got $110 in my pocket, you know, that's what I got. And he goes, well, he started paying, I can't do it for that, I can go down to $200. I probably could have got him down to $175, but I said, screw it. Uh, he had some good games in there, so I went ahead and... Um, just bought a bunch of games and they gave me a deal on them. I think I bought 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 15 games. I think there was total like 27 games, maybe a little more. Uh, but these are ones that I were interested in and didn't have. And it was uh, Spider-Man 3. So I spent uh, $45 on these. Um, so basically $3 a game. So I can't complain. And I don't know if these are complete or not. And that one's complete. Uh, the Simpsons game. This one goes for a little bit. I'm glad to find it. And that one's complete. Again, another one that goes for a little bit. The Sims 3. I don't know why these Sims games go for something. And this is complete. And looks like it's never been played. Still has the code there. Uh, let's see. I heard this game is actually very good. 
and it's GoldenEye Reloaded 007, and this one is missing the manual. And the uh, SSX, I, I'm, the last SSX game I played was on original Xbox. Um, this one's complete. This is, looks pretty good. What if I had a black and white manual? You think they would have, anyone know, is this a later release game? Huh, okay. And then I picked up Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. And that one's complete. Uh, Rayman Origins. Happy to get this one. And that one's complete. Now, Crack Lotus. If everyone ever remembers Crack Lotus from a while ago. Good friends. Hope you're doing well, buddy. If you ever watch this video, hope you're doing good. Miss you here on YouTube. But anyway, uh, picked, he said this game was great, and so I picked up the Incredible Hulk. I think this was an earlier release. It's a Sega title, I believe. Yep, not complete. Uh, these two here, picked up uh, Skate 2. And, oh, there's like seeds or something on here. I mean, the kids that were there, they were not young enough for pot, I don't think. Or too young for pot. Uh, I don't know, there's something on it. Skate 2, complete, I'm uh, missing the manual. Um, copy of Skate 3. And that one's complete, except the manual's all boogered up there. Let's see, a copy of Ultimate Alliance 2. This one is not complete. This one was going for a little bit, and I don't know what happened. The price dropped on it, but it's still, you know, um, going for something. A copy of Portal 2. I love Portal 1 on the, the orange box. That's a fun game. I don't know why I picked this up, threw this in here. And I probably could have picked up something better. Because G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra, uh, Missing the Manual. I heard this game was actual garbage. A uh, copy of Sniper Elite 3 in minty fresh condition. So I imagine this is one of the last games they've gotten in. They got a PS4 or something that decided to settle. Sell. So, their collection and the last one I got I already have but I went ahead and picked it up because if you watched was it last pickup video or the pickup video before I finally this game eluded me now I can't seem to not find it and it's Mon Nation Racers and this one is complete uh, the one I had before didn't have the original cover art had a printed cover art so I'm gonna replace it with this one and then probably just sell that one for you know ten bucks or whatever because it does go for a little bit not nothing for PS3 but that's it. I um, actually found stuff at a garage sale. My next weekend off where I actually have two days off is Memorial Day weekend. Maybe I'll go out. I know a lot of people probably don't have sales in. But I'll go out and see if I can find anything. Just because I we found it fun. I found some knives. So a good knife set for cheap. And some good pots and pans that were brand new for cheap. And So, I mean, it's not just about the games. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Peace out.